Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is John chapter 4, verse 24. Let's say it together. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Well, for this, our last week of this verse, all I really want to say is if you seek God with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength, with your spirit, in communion with the Holy Spirit, willing for him to show you what is actually true, and then worshiping him and glorifying him in that truth, no matter how uncomfortable that is for you, if you honestly seek dedicated spiritual relationship through the acceptance and glorification of truth, then you will have an unstoppable life. God will guide you faithfully, step by step, through every tough decision. Every valley that seems dark, the shadow of death, will be like nothing. Every obstacle will melt in front of you, or he will pass you right through the midst of it, bringing you to the destination that he has set for you. Does that mean there won't be pain or struggle or suffering? No, no. What I'm saying is, in spirit and truth, you will see those things for what they truly are, whether a test, whether a building up, whether an opportunity, whether a wonderful blessing in the disguise of pain, the Lord will take you through everything and you will actually see it and experience it more truthfully by loving the truth and loving the spirit. Jesus Christ says, I am the truth and the God and the father is spirit. So when we worship the truth and when we worship the spirit and when we worship in spirit and in truth, we are in communion with the Trinity and there is no better place to be. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your glory. Thank you for your majesty. Thank you for your blessing of relationship with us. Thank you for this creation. Thank you for this community. Thank you for this service. Thank you for your word. All praise and glory and honor to you, O Lord God, forever and ever. May we worship you with all of ourselves, in spirit and in truth, and in your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless everyone. See you next month.